Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here in rainy Los Angeles, California, picking up propane and propane accessories. A big old propane tank uh, on our way to, where are we going? Elko. Seems to be a popular place. Getting paid almost 30 grand for this job. Before we get going, let's take a look at our uh, drivers and see how our driver is doing. Simone is making a 400 a day profit. Two very good deliveries. Uh, she's working on her long distance. Once she gets that third pip, we will uh, tell her to specialize in fragile and then just in time, work on her ADR, and then she will become a very productive driver. So I am running the new uh, beta and also a realism mod that replaces some of the uh, textures as you can see that Texaco tanker just off to our left. Also there are a few other key things that you will see once we get out on the road. So let's pull up our GPS get out of here. Looks like the rain is coming to an end. That's one thing about California is the rain doesn't seem to last long at all. One thing I can show you about the new beta right away is once we get on this road and we'll be adopted uh, to a 30 mile an hour speed limit, they've done something very cool with the heads up display. So. Once I hit some straight road, but let's get to it. Now the speed limits, I'm going to hit 30 and actually go past and watch what happens. 28, 29, 30, 31, see it getting redder on the speed? That is a visual representation of speeding, which is really cool if you're watching it you can tell uh, that you're speeding immediately without even seeing what the speed limit is. Also in the beta, they said that the speed limit signs themselves have been uh, increased. And if I am not mistaken, I've never seen a dedicated left turn lane before. It looks like they have dedicated left turn lanes. And this is another new addition. The engine brake has several steps like a, an, a retarder does. You can have a little bit of engine or exhaust brake and you can you know step that up uh, two or three times. So a nice gradient on your engine brake. There we see our auto zone, errands, public storage, you know real world billboards that adds a whole lot uh, to this game. Let's go ahead and head out onto the highway. And it looks like we go down to one lane up here, so we will stick to the left. And this tank, whoo. I'm glad I have a pretty stocky engine. The tank is over 40,000 pounds, so the truck might not get up to speed as quickly as we are used to, but that is okay. We're getting paid a lot of money for this job, so we will take it. Make sure no idiot is trying to come into the blind spot. Hopefully we will be out of Los Angeles quickly. As a matter of fact, let's look at our map while we can and see if it puts us on a stupid route. Looks pretty straightforward. A left and a right and shoot straight up through the middle. The old tied and true uh, route it seems. So we'll stick with what the GPS uh, says. I haven't tried it out but apparently you can also turn off the guidance on the GPS. You can just say that's it, no red line and navigate yourself, which is really cool. Let's use some of this exhaust brake. And now I'm going to step it up. And again. And 
And then... Three. Looks like it has uh, three steps on it. I have to hit down three times. You idiot. So much for yielding to uh, oncoming traffic. But no matter. We're just rolling up to a red light anyway. And nothing makes me more angry like in real life when people go racing up to a red light like you're good you got there in two seconds but guess what you're gonna wait just as long as I have to you idiot Ooh, check out those reflections in that uh, tanker in front of us oh we got a red light coming into a green no let's roll I'm on the lookout. Screw you. Haha. -ha. Oh, come on now. We're getting paid 30 grand. 700 bucks really isn't that big of a deal. I want to get out of this town as quickly as possible. I could do something cheeky and cut through the uh, car dealership there. But I'm not going to. Hang a right on this intersection. And it, you know, no left hand traffic. No one's coming up through there. So we'll just roll right on red. Ooh, got the curb just a little bit there. And then coming up to a left. Looks like we haven't been on this particular road before. There is still a ton of area I haven't seen yet. 31 hours in the game, still roads left to be traveled. All right, let's make this left turn here. Luckily, no one in that uh, oncoming lane. Cross the highway. One thing about the scale of this town, it definitely feels big. <laughs> it feels like once you're in Los Angeles, you're never going to get out of it. Hello, officer. I'm trying to keep an eye out for both the new logos and uh, the increased size of the speed limit signs. Oh, to I-5. Thank you. We're not going on I-5, though. We're cutting across. Let's go top gear... And at the city limit, and we're still at 30. <laughs> we're never going to get out of here. Gives us more time to appreciate the scenery and the truck, however. Climb that big hill, buddy. Come on. Looks like there's a few uh, signs that the mod author missed. The, I got the mod off of the Steam Workshop, so I imagine it's a sort of a work in progress, but the author was very vocal that uh, he or she was tired of seeing Walbert. And what do we do? But we pass a Walbert. So obviously haven't got every business taken care of jeez at the traffic a lot of RVs people seem to be uh, camping all right we're good I would have rather have waited and made sure I was clear rather than jump out there and get a big uh, fine or a crash Speed limit 70, that one's nice and easy to see. 55, but it doesn't matter because we'll be exiting the highway anyway. We should be able to take this one at speed. I don't think this turn is too aggressive. 
we'll know if we flip over into the ditch pretty quick, fast, and in a hurry whether or not this is too fast. No, we're fine. This right here is the tightest part, and we are good. Top gear 55. Let's go ahead, set it, and forget it, and cruise on down the road with our tank. Not our military tank, but our tank of propane and propane accessories. It seems like the best jobs in American truck are all going to Elko, Nevada. Uh, the reason we started in Los Angeles is I uh, installed the mod. And of course it gave a... Uh, there's a game change detected. It might not be safe to continue your current game, so we've put you in a safe place, which is my home base. Uh, in LA. Come on, get up the hill. We have people passing us. So that's why we picked up a job in Los Angeles instead of San Francisco, which we left last episode at. Come on at the hill. Let's get going down the road. And the retarder is not on this time, luckily. We got a rolling roadblock here. This other truck is trying to uh, to keep up as well. Looks like we're getting a bit of a downhill now, finally. Put this 500 horsepower engine to work. Oh, are you serious? See that? Dedicated turn lane, which is really cool stuff. I have a little arrow up there. The only bad part is in this particular truck, if you get up to the line, you can't tell if it's your turn to go. But at least it's there. Red and back to gray <laughs> on that speed. Really cool addition. It's good to see the developer sticking to it. I know SCS has an awesome history with uh, with Euro Truck and always keeping that fresh and up to date, so I would expect the same out of American Truck, but it's always cool to open up a, a beta or you know even an update and see what newness has, uh, has happened. Oh. Well, we're going left. I need a lot of exhaust brake there. We are good. Let's follow this RV through the desert. I'll hit him with the brights because he's going to be gone in a minute. Another sunset in the desert. And Simone just bring, brought in another thousand dollars for us. It's definitely a, a peace of mind once your drivers start bringing in money. It's like, well, thank you for paying off that uh, red light violation that we had. So now when you go in the hole, your drivers can bail you out fairly quickly. Through the famous Tumbleweed Canyon here. We're good on sleep at 17 hours to go, so this should be a two-part episode. And since I'm recording this on Saturday, and this being Wednesday's episode, uh, that'll give us some American truck to end the week with on Friday. And next week, I am stoked for the Fallout DLC. I'm definitely going to, to put it on here on the channel and probably play a metric crap ton on my own off to the side because Fallout's one of those types of games where you just sort of um, you have to do collect a bunch of stuff off uh, camera in order to keep it interesting you know it's a lot of work off camera down to six gear we are heading to Brown Valley. 
kind of got the curb a little bit, but no worse for the wear. I'll tell you, out here in the middle of nowhere, it feels like we're going to get murdered or something like it's the perfect horror movie setup. The truck will stall out here. No one's going to come. Well, look at you passing, and then you're not. <laughs> okay. Bold driver thought against passing me. Maybe he saw how big this trailer was and thought against it. Hello, Kim Plant. Clear. And of course he's following me because the only way to go is to the chem plant. This guy is probably hating life right now. I got stuck behind a truck on Bob's road and I couldn't pass. Highway 395. And it looks like there will probably be a speed change because that road is getting awful wonky. But shoot, with this heavy of a trailer, I'm not anticipating much speed out of this thing anyway. I don't see how I did propane deliveries in that old Kenworth I had with only the 300 horsepower engine. That must have felt painful. Here we go, 55 miles an hour, set it and forget it, and hope that these hills are kind to us. Looks like that car is falling back behind us now. Don't know why he slowed down. Maybe he's dropping back so he can get up some momentum to pass me. But on this double yellow, that is not entirely um, approved. I don't know why, but all of these deliveries seems to be happening at the dead of night. It's like I got off cycle somewhere. And now everything I do is at night. I'm the night trucker. Oh, finally a hill. Help me out, gravity. And then 55. And if that's a cop behind me, I'm going 59 and it's lit up red. Slow down! Can't tell if that is a cop or not. But since I wasn't busted, I probably could jack this up to, uh, let's say 70? Let's give her a try. Now watch, as soon as I come over the hill, there's gonna be a police officer sitting out here. <laughs> 58. There's 60. We're cutting into our time for sure. Oh. We'll be up to 70. Let's go 80. On the back roads. We're not going to hit 88 miles an hour, but shoot. We're hauling the mail now. This will definitely get us there ahead of schedule. Hopefully that kink in the road coming up isn't too vicious. We're going to be blasting by a bed and breakfast. Oh, and that looks like a sharp turn, so... Let's back her down. At least back down to 55. Yeah, these, this is going to be a vicious series of turns. Come on, buddy boy. Up the hill we go, power. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. The truck was kind of slowing down for us. 
once we hit this stretch, we'll kick it back up to 80 and see if we can hit 80 while we're out here in the middle of nowhere. I wonder how many real truckers do such things. I imagine trucks nowadays have GPS, so like the dispatchers will be watching and say, hey, you're going 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, you better stop that. But we're our own boss. We do our own thing. Plus, my driver is about to yawn, so we need to get closer to civilization so we can rest up somewhere. Yeah, we're chopping minutes off of that expected time speeding like this. Oh, you're going to be there Wednesday at, you know, 9 at night? No, nope, two, 2 in the afternoon now, you're good. Yeah, nice long stretch of road, why wouldn't you? When you're, you know, trying to get up these hills, you need all the power you can get, and if you know good and well that there are no police around, shoot, foot to the floor, hammer down, son. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. And we are eastbound. So watch old bandit run. That'd be cool if that was like a Trans Am behind me. <laughs> hey, snowman, got your ears on, son. Yep, no police officer yet. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up to some tight turns. So I'll back her back down to 55 on the cruise control, but let the truck do some coasting. No need to slam on the brake and lose all of this momentum. Since we're getting through a particularly tight series of turns. Don't want to go flying off into the guardrail. I was in ninth gear that whole time, didn't even notice. Well, the fuel gauge probably hated us, but we were making excellent power. Are we almost to Nevada? Yes! And now it's 70 for reals. So we'll kick that up to 70. Still looking for a place to rest. A place for my head. Ooh, that looks like a wicked series of turns coming up. If you can do 70, more power to you. I imagine this propane, well, it's a gas. Pressurized gas doesn't slosh around like a liquid, I wouldn't imagine. I'm no scientist. But I wouldn't think that a pressurized tank would have a slosh to it. If that was liquid fuel, though, that thing would be bouncing us around like crazy. Up, oh, looks like we're coming to the end of the road, and we have a rest stop. So let's back her down. What we can do is we can rest up, fill up, and then head out, and we won't lose too much. Uh, we won't lose too much time. All right, we are good. We're gonna make a turn, and then we are gonna kick it right back. No, let's fill up first. Let us fill up, and since the episode is kind of getting long, I'll pull in here and leave it here for you guys. In the meantime, I will fill up and sleep, and then I will catch you in the morning. So, if you've liked what you've seen, like, share, subscribe, uh, if you are so bold, and I will see you on the next episode of 
American Truck Simulator when we will reach Elko, Nevada. So until next time, take care.